sister with a testimony here and today I'm going to be bringing you 10 duties of citizens. These 10 duties are found in Holy Scripture. I figured with all the controversy surrounding the perceived infringement upon the rights of individuals by the government these days, the Lord put it on my heart basically to clarify what believers' duties are and what their responsibilities are in these chaotic times we're living in. So according to the Holy Scripture, we can find ten duties of citizens found therein. So saints, I would really appreciate it if you would, um, you know, click that bell and give us a like on this video share it with other people so that they'll know what the 10 duties of citizens are in these chaotic times especially the ones that think their rights are being infringed upon the scripture makes it clear what our duties as believers are as followers of Yahushua you you have to I have to we have to follow the Word of God Study these scriptures out for yourself. There's going to be a lot of them. It's not just one section of scripture. But uh, we'd really appreciate if you'd leave your prayer requests, and your comments. And uh, saints, study to show yourself approved. A workman not ashamed, rightly dividing the word of God. So let's dive right into those ten duties. So first and foremost, we're going to be looking at, again, Romans 13, 1 through 5. Uh, Romans 1, uh, Romans 13, 1 says, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God, and the powers that are, are ordained of the Lord. First and foremost, we must be subject to civil government, according to Romans 13, 1, Titus 3, 1, and also 1 Peter 2, 13 through 17. Do your own study. Do your own search. You'll find out what Jesus said we have to do. It's not a suggestion. It's one of his New Testament commands. Number two, be afraid to disobey civil rulers. Romans 13, 3 and Proverbs 24, 21. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to them damnation. King James Version. Number three. Do the good. Romans 13, 4. Titus 3, 1. Pay your taxes. Number four. I know people don't want to pay taxes, but you got to pay taxes. Render unto Caesar what is Caesar. Render unto what is God. Is, render unto God what is God's. So pay your taxes. Romans 13, 1 through 7 and Matthew chapter 22, verses 17 through 21. Render dues to all men. That's Romans chapter 13, verse 7. That's number 5 on our list of 10 duties. See, these are duties. They're duties of all citizens, but as Christians, you'd think we'd be obeying these orders that came from our headquarters, not from men, but from God himself. Romans 13, 3 says, For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and you will have the praise of the same. Saints, number six, we are to honor civil rulers. Wow, there ain't a whole lot of honoring going on to the civil rulers today just because we don't like them and we don't like what they're saying or doing. Romans 13, 1 through 7, Exodus 22, 28, Acts 23, 5, 1 Peter 2, 13 through 17, honor civil rulers. That's not a suggestion, saint. Number seven. 
So number six was honor civil rulers. Number seven. Oh, we're really going to enjoy this, aren't we? Pray for civil rulers. First Timothy 2, 1 and 2. Wow, you mean I've got to honor them and pray for them? Yeah. Romans chapter 13 verse 4 says, For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if you do that which is evil, be afraid, for he bears not the sword in vain, for he is a minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath on him that does evil. So if you break the law, you're going to pay the consequences. The problem we see around us today is the fact that nobody thinks there's any consequences and they don't fear God. And if they don't fear God, they're certainly not going to fear their civil rulers. I'm not telling you to bow to anybody. I'm telling you to bow to the Lord God Almighty. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Yeah, a lot of us believers need to be bowing to Jesus right now. Yeah. How's that working for us? Number seven was pray for civil rulers. Number eight. This is going to be the hard one for a lot of people. Obey civil laws. Romans 13, 1 through 7. And Ezra 7, 26. Romans chapter 13 verse 5 reads on this wise, Wherefore you must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. <laughs> Obey civil laws. Wow. There you go. Some of us are not going to like this number 9 here. Do not curse rulers. Guess y'all on Facebook and YouTube didn't read that one. Do not curse rulers. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 20. Wow. Old Testament and New Testament. Wow. Don't curse them. Obey them. Pray for them. Honor them. What you saying, sister, with a testimony? I'm saying this. If you a sinner with a testimony or a saint with a testimony, you still got to obey the civil law. You got to obey God and you got to obey the rulers. Wow. I love number 10. Work for peace. Work for peace. P-E-A-C-E. -E. Not a piece of the pie. P-I-E-C-E. -E. But you're to be working for peace. Romans chapter 12, verse 18. So I could take hours to break down every one of these scriptures, but you need to open the book for yourself and read it and stop listening to people that are telling you contrary to the Holy Scripture what you have to do and what you don't have to do, saints. Every soul is to be subject unto the higher powers. Those are the supreme powers. The supreme powers here, you can find in Philippians 2.3, Philippians 3.8, Philippians 4.7, 1 Peter 2.13. On the next video, I'm going to break it down about human governments. What are true, seriously, biblical, scriptural duties and responsibilities toward God is when we're dealing with our civil ruler saints. Whoever sets himself against the plan of God and human government resists God. They who resist will be punished. We have to keep God's law, not man's law. If man's law, and what I mean by that is if man's law is telling us to break God's law, we have to obey God's law first and foremost. But we are to obey the civil rulers that God put there, whether we like them or not. He will deal with them. He will judge them. So saints, 
obey God at all costs. At all costs, obey God. We're not talking about Old Testament law. We're not talking about uh, being under the law. We're talking about being under grace. And if you're under grace, you're going to obey God and you're going to obey those that are placed over you. If not, again, you got a spirit of rebellion in you. Repent. Paul shows us that the duty of the civil rulers is for our good. It's not to terrorize people of good deeds, but to punish evil men for sins against society. If they think that wearing a mask is good for the society, then we should wear the mask and be a good example of Christ Jesus. Not that we are having our rights infringed upon because as Christians we have to obey God. We've been stripped of our worldly rights. Our rights are to the to, to obey God and to follow the kingdom of heaven laws and rules. We are to obey the laws of civil government and not have anything to fear of course, providing that we have rulers that properly enforce the laws. Okay, so if it's not a law, they can't force you to do it. But if it's a law, they can force you to do it. And we're getting into all of that other stuff again, if you think about it. Your conscience has to be clear. If you can disobey God's law, his rules, in the Old Testament, the New Testament, or roll it all together, Old and New Testament, Jesus came to set us free from the law. We're not under the law, we're under grace. So we need to have the grace in us to show that we're going to obey God no matter what. And that means that we're going to obey the civil authorities placed over us. And if we don't like what they're doing, vote them out. Number one, be subject to civil government. Number two, be afraid to disobey civil rulers. Do, do the good. Pay your taxes. Render dues to all men. Six, honor civil rulers. Seven, pray for civil rulers. Nine, well, I think eight, obey civil laws. Nine, do not curse rulers. Ten, work for peace. I gave you all the scripture breakdown. And again, we have to obey the laws of civil government so that we have nothing to fear. And we should be praying that the civil rulers do enforce the laws. We are to be deacons and servants of the law, the, serv the, the civil law, good stewards, obedient. God has delegated authority to defend the good and to punish evil, even with capital punishment, if that's what has to be, if that's required. We are to obey the civil laws, not only to escape punishment, but to preserve a clear conscience, saints. Because civil government and law enforcement officers who execute the laws and defend the community are of God. And they must be supported. Which means obedience and paying your taxes. Public servants are put there to serve the greater good. They are God's servants to carry on civil government for him. Even if they're ungodly men and women, but they faithfully carry out civil responsibility, they're to be respected, supported, and obeyed on duty. Don't withhold from civil government or its lawful authorities what is required from you. Pay your taxes, pay your, fear, pay your customs, Fear them, honor them, and honor all men that are over you in a public capacity. And saints, you will be fulfilling your duties to the Lord God Almighty. So, 
I just want to encourage you that make your own decision if you want to obey or not. Um, if you want to wear a face mask, wear it. If you don't, don't. Let your conscience be your guide. Actually, I don't agree with that. Because if your conscience is not submitted and committed to the Holy Spirit, pride's going to step in. You're going to be talking about your rights are being infringed upon. And that's not trusting God. I know that my God is greater than that. And I just pray that you will read the scriptures you will obey the scriptures and you'll find out what the scripture says for yourself. So, saints, leave your comments below. Would love to, to hear what you have to say, what your feedback is. Remember, I'm just the messenger and um, we have our own free will to do what we want to do. Uh, but my prayer is that you'll do the Lord's will and, and it'll be His way and not our way. And I just love you and I praise God and thank God for every born again believer and all the ones that are not born again that are coming in. Again, we appreciate you. Pray for us. Uh, subscribe. Uh, click that little like button. Give us a thumbs up. I'm sure there's going to be people that don't like it, but all I'm doing is delivering the word. Ten duties of citizens. I praise God, I give him the glory and honor, and I just lift you up to the Lord, and I pray for you, and I plead and apply the blood of Yahushua Hamashiach over you to hide, protect, and keep you. It's sister with a testimony, breaking the scripture down. Our next video is going to elaborate on human governments. Be sure to watch it. We love you. God bless you. Later.